All right, Todd, take it away. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going over the Greater Phoenix Metropolitan Housing Statistics for the week ending today. Uh, and let's get right into those numbers. Ah, here we there go. we go. 66 days closed on market we, uh, this We past changed week. the keypad uh, this weekend, <laughs> oh, we so we moved, we moved all the keys around just to confuse you. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> no, we didn't. Here, should we start this over? Yeah, we're just going to start from the okay. beginning. Hey, everybody. 66 days closed on market, a 2.72 month supply. Uh, actually, you know what? That's a good point because we do record this separately, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're going over the Greater Phoenix Metropolitan Housing Statistics for the week ending April 1st. Let's see what we got. 66 days closed on market this past week, a 2.72 month supply. Absorption rate is at 36.74. Average list price at 850000 Average sale price at 601000 And our list price to sell price this past week at 97.88. Inventory is doing well up again. 10.6. We're at 17,922 uh, active non-distressed properties. We're sitting at pending at 4,342. And our closed units for last month, though, obviously we haven't you know cleaned up and washed all these numbers yet, 5,948. Looking at new listings taken this past week, 2,261. Nice job. 97.3 is our days on market for active and 65.9 for closed. Taking a look at our price range in the lower right hand, lower left hand section today. Um, you know, again, this is uh, we highlight in red all the ones that go down uh, since last week's uh, reporting period. So it's easy just to see which ones are negative and which ones are positive. Uh, <clears throat> but this breaks down each of the price ranges all the way up to five million. But it does give us a better look at the million dollar and up market. So we get to see the units uh, in each of those categories: days on market, uh, percentage of the total inventory, and the changed week over week. Way over on the left hand side, we have the uh, total inventory, similar to what we used to do a long time ago. Uh, uh, meaning prior to the first of the year. Uh, but what we did is this category, instead of being under 500 and then 500 to a million, it's now zero to 600,000 and then 600,000 to a million. Um, and again, so if you take a look at these numbers, uh, 63, we're trying to stay above basically 63% um, percent for the zero to 600,000. So anytime we see it go down, that's not a good, below that, it's not a good sign. Uh, 600 to a million dollar uh, properties, again, uh, Somewhere just above 21 is really where we like to see it. Um, but again, and then the final number is million dollar plus down there on the lower left hand side, which is at 16.09% of the entire MLS inventory. This mic used to only be 9%. Wow. So it's, it's, it's up significantly in comparison. <clears throat> so taking a look at the spreadsheet week over week, uh, in the very center, you have 2022 same week, uh, two years ago. Uh, and then to the left of that, you have last year's numbers and then two, two week over weeks in a row. So 2261 was obviously not as good as 2274. However, it's still, you know, really, really good in comparison. Slide your eyes to the right. Why is it really, really good? Because last year we only did 1,683 this week. So this is a good sign. What are these numbers indicating? These numbers are indicating the seller engagement. So you, uh, seller, you have greater seller engagement when more people put their houses on the market. That kind of, kind of should just make sense. So two years ago, we were at 2,090. We we're even exceeding this past week those numbers. Uh, we did increase in, uh, a little bit in the uh, pending number as well. But the active inventory is 17,922. Uh, that's 815 are coming soon. 13,716 are single-family non distressed 2,665 builder properties, uh, new home construction, and 17,845 non-distressed properties. Taking a look at pending, pending is at 4342. Many of you maybe remember we were having a conversation about a year ago where this number was close to 2,000. Um, so way over on the left-hand side, if we, don't forget the rules of thumb, 5,500. If we're getting 2,400 uh, units, new listings each week, and we have pending, meaning people going under contract, averaging about 5,500 at any particular point of the month, um, that means we're in an exceptionally stable real estate market. Uh, in comparison, for, from historical values. So 4,342, that's good. Uh, it actually uh, was the same identical number last week, but though if you look at the numbers below it, you'll see that uh, uh, they just total differently, but they uh, end up at the same. So 4,300, that's good. Last year, we were only at 4,301. So again, that's a good push. But two years ago, there we were, 5,100, 5,200. That's what we need. We need that kind of people in the marketplace, providing we have 2,400 new listings each week. 
So a, year, a month to date, closed numbers for the month of March so far, 5,948. Of course, all the numbers aren't in yet. We still have reporting precincts, just a joke. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, is that we were at 6,133 last year. That's 3% difference. If you slide your eyes down, if you slide your eyes to the right, those green numbers show each month so far, January, February, we were up about 1% in closing. Yeah. There we go. Testing. Okay. Somehow we're going to do this. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So 5,948, that's, a <clears throat> that's uh, not bad. We're hoping that it's going to go over 6,000 by the end of the month, but it may not. If it doesn't, that's okay. Uh, it's just one of those things that uh, it is what it is. So we come down to month supply. Month supply is at 2.72. That is uh, actually a pretty good number. We're supposed to be between 25 and 3%. Um, last week, we were at 2.32. Last year, look at that, 1.89%. We, you know, we were struggling. Uh, 0.59 back two years ago, uh, you know, everything we were putting into the MLS was getting eaten up. So at 2.72, 2.5 to 3 uh, percent, this is absolutely our sweet spot. Looking at the median sale price, which is the bottom number here, uh, is 454.099. It was that's quite a bit higher than last week, but we really don't look week over week, though. I provide it. We're really looking month over month. Last month we were at 5.199. The month before, uh, excuse me, 4.199. The month before that, we were at 447,000. So again, you can see that you know people are saying, uh, you know, the the prices are going up dramatically. Yes, they're increasing. However, if we're watching the under $500,000, under $600,000 market, and that continues to stable, be stable or increase, that means workforce housing. That means uh, first time home buyers. That means there's a market for that. Um, and again, if we take a look at the median, that means there's just as many above as there are below. Um, it, it just it, what it's saying to us is is that the the prices of homes are not getting away from us. Um, so don't be expecting any big settlement in numbers, meaning any reduction in numbers. We've already been through that, uh, at least speculatively looking forward. Uh, you know, we should be on a very stable, uh, soluble market. So we look at uh, average days on market. We are up to, we're down to 66. That's a little concerning. We need to be closer to the 70. And then, of course, our list price to sale price retention is what was the difference between the list price and the sale price at the time the seller accepted the offer? Uh, and so 97.8 is our historic number. This week, we're at 97.88, right on that number. That's a good sign. Last week, we were at 97.25. If it's higher than 97.8, sellers aren't giving away anything. If, uh, you know, they're, they're just, they're not uh, uh, discounting their price. This has nothing to do with concessions yet. Uh, <clears throat> and of course, if it goes below this, that means they have to give away the farm in order to make the buyers stay in the market. So those are the numbers for this week. And uh, we should have the month end numbers, I would imagine, by midweek or the end of this week, uh, worst case, next Monday. All right. You can always uh, look for those uh, end of the month numbers on your Facebook groups.